Welcome everybody. This is JSA's new series called JSA Fast Forward, where we broadcast live via LinkedIn. I'm your host, Jay Viscato Kataya, CEO and founder of JSA. And with me, my fabulous co-host, longtime friend and colleague, Dean Perrine, and of course, we should say overall guru of client strategy and lead gen marketing for JSA. Guru. I love being called a guru. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I like it. Um, Jamie, it is always a pleasure to be on Fast Forward with you. Thank you very much. Apparently, people enjoyed, um, or maybe they, maybe at least they found valuable our last Fast Forward, and so they're letting us do it again. So let's try to go two for two today. What do you say? Yes, definitely. And you know, it's it's a new show. We can call it new, right? I, we, we would call it new, but so, so technically, I'm not entirely sure what means new. Like with a, um, it's all very subjective. Um, but by the way, oh, so we're getting off track already. <laughs> this is a good sign, right? Um, by the way, this is live. So if we sneeze or if a kid walks in or a dog barks, please uh, forgive us for doing the human thing. Um, but um, it is inevitable at some point. Uh, totally. And Dean and I have been tearing through uh, our big headlines, ripping them out out of our virtual newspapers, and uh, you know, really trying to figure out what is happening in our industry this month. Uh, and you know what? Guess what, guys? January, first month of the year, already in the books, come to a close. This is insanity. January is almost over. So go ahead, let's do it. It's a good time, Dean. What's catching your attention today? Well, honestly, um, I did a little bit, very little bit of research yesterday to make sure that um, I at least knew what was going on uh, with uh, in the industry because so much has gone on in the industry in what three and a half short weeks of the new year. Um, but the one theme that was grabbing me most was that there seemed to be a theme, and that theme was kind of a welcoming theme. There were a lot of uh, a lot of new things happening, a lot of welcome additions to teams, a lot of new markets, a lot of new products, a lot of welcoming. So that's really kind of what jumped out at me. Um, for example, uh, Xtel Communications, they are a provider that delivers customized solutions for dynamic needs of today's business environment welcomed Vince McKernan as their new senior director of sales. Vince has 30 years of experience as a top performing results driven sales professional specializing in telecommunications. So again, Xtel welcomed a new senior director of sales. So right. welcoming does feel like the theme for me right now. Right on, right on, right on. I feel you. And okay, here's another example. During PTC just a few weeks ago, last week, uh, American Tower welcomed Shamrock Consulting as the newest addition to American Tower's growing channel partner program. And in case you don't know Shamrock, Shamrock Consulting, lengthy history of sourcing technology solutions, and that's for enterprises, which includes cloud, data center, WAN, cybersecurity solutions, our, our, our little world. And through this agreement, Shamrock now has access to innovate edge and Metro Colo services in key markets across the U.S. All right, Jamie, I think we have our theme for today. It is definitely welcoming things. Um, and what would welcoming be without uh, welcoming a new another new client uh, to JSA's roster of amazing clients? We just this month uh, welcomed China Telecom Americas to our JSA community as a uh, as a provider of private carrier connections. I'm sorry, carrier communications and IT services with global network via its affiliates and service providers. CTA, that is China Telecom Americas, is truly diverse in offering in offerings as well as markets to which it connects its customers. So again, JSA has welcomed a new client. Yes. Yeah, no, no. That's okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I hear you. I hear you. Okay. So our ecosystem welcomed EDX when they announced the global launch of the company's groundbreaking 360 View solution. This is a carbon tracking tool, I love this, that will help users monitor and manage the power efficiency and carbon footprints. 360 View now available, free download to all users, including non-BDX customers, which is awesome to really manage their power and carbon footprints efficiently from anywhere in the world. 
Jamie, I love this because uh, there were some other themes actually when I was thinking when I was looking at what we might be where what direction we might be going today. Mm -hmm. And while the welcoming theme certainly was was evident, there were some other more eco like themes and environment like themes. So we're going to get to some of those in just a moment. But just to pack uh, back over to the uh, the welcoming part, data bank data bank welcomes its new COO Joe Minarik. Joe is a pioneer in the cloud and data center community and joins data bank from amazon we've all heard of them where he served, yeah exactly they were in fact they just delivered a, uh, a pair of shoes to me probably a different amazon than the one that joe is working for but regardless i love the shoes thank you very much uh where he served 16 years leading the development of the company's underlying data center network strategy and infrastructure across a global footprint of 25 regions, 18 availability zones, and 275 points of presence. So Joe comes to DataBank with quite a pedigree, and I'm sure that they are welcoming Joe this month. Yeah, 275 pops. That's insane. All right. So, you know, Dean, that was easy, welcoming a new team okay. member. Okay. Check this out. First Light, a network and business communication service provider, recently activated 400 gig network connection on its fiber optic network. So the announcement is welcomed news to their enterprise and carrier customers throughout the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic. Yeah. And in addition to serving, of course, the increased bandwidth needs of its customers, the upgrade positions FiberLite's network to support 5G technologies of the future. So you're gonna end with 5G as if we're not gonna be talking about this all year long. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I will, um, I'm going to go, I'm going to move forward. DR Fortress welcomes a super cool 360 degree high definition immersive virtual tour of its data center campus in Honolulu. So when I was reading this last night, I thought a virtual tour of a data center in Honolulu sounds great, but going to Honolulu for a data center tour sounds really good to me too. But either way, if we can't go, at least not right now, um, a virtual tour sounds pretty good. Um, you'll find it interactive, panoramic photos, detailed floor plans, and a tour view and tour views throughout the 55 thousand square foot DR Fortress data center that is in Honolulu, the largest data center, business network, and cloud marketplace in Hawaii. So it's a pretty significant virtual tour, again, of that 55,000 square foot facility in Honolulu. Yeah, Jane, for sure. What we got? For sure, Hawaii's most preeminent data center. I just, just love that facility. All right. So yeah, you're good. You're good. But how about this? <clears throat> Silicon Valley welcomes Prime Data Centers as the company announces its further expansion right there. This new built to suit turnkey facility strategically located on Comstock Street in Santa Clara is at the center of major fiber routes following diverse paths, the top tier one long haul and metro providers. With construction slated to be in second half of 2023, this will be the fourth Silicon Valley facility for prime data centers. Of course, we're talking California guys. Yeah, yeah. Silicon Valley. There, uh, there. Everybody knows where that is almost immediately the moment, yeah. the moment you say right. But um, so speaking of something, someone perhaps a company that everybody knows or at least has heard of, Zenlayer, a leading edge cloud service provider for emerging markets worldwide, received some welcomed financing from uh, MDI, yeah. yes, a little bit of cash, right? Uh, from MDI Ventures, the investment arm of Telecom Indonesia, the country's largest telecommunications company. The C plus funding brings the entire Series C financing round to $62 million. So Zenlayer said that the investment will fortify its position as the edge cloud provider of choice in Indonesia and its surrounding regions. They are highly committed to the Southeast, uh, to Southeast Asia as evidenced by their new dedicated sales and support team headquartered in Singapore. So again, this is kind of a continuation of what we saw last year. I believe on, on our very, on the inaugural voyage of Fast Forward, we were talking a great deal about um, global expansion and um, uh, global um, uh, facility even enhancements uh, abroad. So um, that theme seems to be moving, carrying, uh, carrying over from 2021. Yeah, particularly Asia and Southeast Asia. Yep. All right. 
And like you said, I, I have to say that was a good one. Financing is always welcome. So I I'll I, take some of that. Yeah, no, that was good. That was good. All right. So Dean, quick hits time. I'm just gonna blast through a couple of these really cool headlines. Horizon, a fiber optic broadband company operating out of Columbus, Ohio, welcomes its newly really redesigned website focused on both business and residential fiber solutions. You can welcome that. Yeah. And Edge Connects welcomes a fortified executive bench. Yes, we're talking three fantastic hires. We have Jonathan Schildkraut. I hope I'm saying. Oh, I would say it too. Yep. Schildkraut. He's chief strategy officer, helping to guide the next chapter of the company's significant growth. This Edge Connects has been tearing it up. We know right. Anand Ramesh. He's the SVP of Advanced Technology, helping to develop and implement the company's global sustainability initiatives. Again, touching on that big point here. And Sam Lee, Managing Director, Marketing and Commercial Development for Asia Pacific, perfectly aligned with the company's growth strategy in APAC, another trend we're citing here. So yes, 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 Edge Connects making all the right moves. They really are. Uh, lots of stuff going on there. And it's good to see that uh, a lot of folks are kind of hiring in now to really kind of double down on the sustainability and environmental efforts and things like that. So it is really cool to see that. But um, <laughs> while you were going through your quick hits, I couldn't think of anyone to talk about next. So um, I am going to uh, let everybody know that I will be welcoming a plate of leftover spaghetti yeah. from last <laughs> night's meal right after we get off of this. Uh, I'm this getting show. hungry. And yeah, that does sound good, I have to say. <laughs> I think that you would since you're so Italian, Jane. I am, totally, absolutely. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so uh, back, back, back to business, Jamie. Um, the global investment firm Carlisle has emerged to acquire or welcome in Volta, an award-winning cloud computing hybrid IT and data services company. The strategic acquisition includes all 12 of Involta's owned and operated data center facilities and an in-house 12,000 plus fiber mile network. Carlisle Capital's resources and expertise will help expand Involta's operations, helping grow its capabilities for both new and existing customers. All Take right. that. All right, I don't know. Fire, <laughs> welcome, that's a tough one. But okay, I'll let that one slide. Very good, very good, Dino. All right, Redline continues its impressive growth trajectory. We talked about this also uh, in the inaugural and continues to welcome throughout the Mideast and be welcome throughout the Mideast with its announcement noting its new and existing strategic partnerships with several new service providers. These partnerships provide advanced connectivity solutions for more than 100 enterprises in the Mideast. We're talking Oman, United Arab Emirates. So uh, really, um, Quite, quite the brand and growing in, in those strategic growth regions. Yeah. Are we stretching it now? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I, think, I think we're just, right now, we're just shoehorning the welcoming we're, message we're right into what it is. In any story. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> But um, um, I actually, I saved this one for one of the last because it is one that is near and dear to my heart. Um, and that is that Vive Business Services pioneers in bringing game-changing technology to traditionally underserved communities has expanded its fiber access network or FAN. That's the uh, new acronym. It's one that I hadn't really heard too much about. Fiber access network FAN services to 25 new markets, new and in need markets really. Um, and you want to know who welcomes fiber access networks in new markets? Rhetorical question, it's people who don't have fiber access networks in those markets. And so, and so yeah. you know, and that's the thing. Yeah, exactly. And it's just like, it's one of those things where business is getting done everywhere. And so our, our metropolitan or our business centers are one thing, but you know, there are businesses um, everywhere. Yeah. Like, like JSA, we're, we're everywhere, right? Um, I've got a gig coming to my house. There are, there are areas in the country that don't have that kind of, um, that kind of uh, bandwidth and that need it because it is that kind of bandwidth that will ultimately drive digital transformation in those markets. It's going to drive things like uh, disparate workforces and working from home and education, all sorts of things. So I'm very excited. Again, Vibe Business Services is now in 25 new underserved markets. So I'm, uh, I'm thrilled about that, that announcement. And absolutely a pandemic trend we've seen. No one wants to be breathing on each other these days. We want to spread out. We want to work comfortably from home, from a farm. 
uh, from uh, from any community we choose. So uh, yeah, we do love a good bridging the digital divide story. So necessary, so needed. And it sounds like Vive, V-Y-V-E, Vive doing just that. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, but but moving on, another piece of, and this one is truly welcoming, um, also talking specifically to kind of the eco, the sustainability subject, we are going to be welcoming some authors. Is that correct, Jamie? That is so, so correct and so exciting. Okay, guys, we here at JSA have confirmed, no, I'm sorry, welcomed 28 authors writing 24 chapters of Greener Data. That's the book that we are all co-writing due out Earth Day, April 22nd, several folks co-writing their chapters together, uh, an incredible line of authors. We are announcing the entire roster in a press release that drops tomorrow. So uh, you'll be hearing more names, but I don't know. I think we could tease a little couple. I mean, Courtney, head of marketing, might be mad at me, but... <laughs> Sorry, Court. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Court. Uh, but you know, we can dress a couple of names. You want to... Yeah, let's, let's do it. I'm stoked. Let's have let's have at it. All right. So Brahm Singh, CEO of BDX. We had to mention BDX, of course, and their and their fabulous uh, um, carbon um, uh, tool. Mm -hmm. um, Raul Martinez, CEO of Data Bank. Phil Marangela, CMO of Edge Connects. Kim Ganellis, co-founder of Ficolo from Finland. Bruce Lerman, CEO of Involta. The company that just got acquired by, I believe it was Carlisle, just to harken back to what we just talked about. But we also are welcoming uh, Jason Ruge, partner of Maven Wave, Sean Farney of Kohler, Wes Swenson, uh, CEO of Nova Data Centers, and Avner Papachado. I hope I got that right because it's a brilliant last name. The CEO of Server Farm, all joining us as authors for Greener Data. And I will not lie, I gave you the difficult names. <laughs> and oh, um, I can't be remiss. Of course, we're welcoming Eric Contag, my friend, president of Suboptic Foundation. And I love her, Dr. Nicole Starouselski, lead researcher of Suboptic Foundation and associate professor over at my alma mater for my grad school, NYU. Yeah, that's a coup for us, right? Getting yeah, Nicole sure. as one of the yeah. one of the authors here. That is outstanding. Yeah, we've um, got several amazing women, just as an FYI. Yeah. Um, authoring some some chapters, Nicole being one of the, the many. Mm -hmm. And we uh we did have we had mentioned a few of the I Masons already, but noteworthy, uh noteworthy, we welcome Bill Kleiman, EVP of Switch and uh, of Switch and Dean Nelson, CEO of Virtual Power Systems, and of course, the founder of iMasons. Yes, yes, yes. I am a proud iMason, so yay. I'm super excited to have them in there. And literally, honestly, I think a dozen more names that maybe we'll save for the press release before Courtney gives us the little ax or it cuts us off. I could see actually LinkedIn just dropping right now. I'm gonna be like, hmm, I, I, I can see your thing. Why are we even putting a PR out now, Jay? Jay, hello. All right, guys. We're excited, though. And, you know, there's so many more that we welcome, welcome, welcome in our next press release, so stay tuned. Um, again, book drops April 22nd. That is Earth Day, and we'll be doing a launch party over LinkedIn. So get ready for some more springtime fun coming soon, probably right around here. Yeah, and talking of coming soon, we have a few JSAers that are heading out to Metro Connect here in just a couple of days, uh, partnering with our good friends at Capacity. We love the folks over there to get some great interviews across both of our communities. And you are welcome to hit us up at my favorite JSA web address. Say hi. That is S-A-Y-H-I at JSA.net if you would like to be interviewed at Metro Connect coming up uh, just here in a couple of days in Miami. Yeah. And what a way to begin 2022. I mean, extraordinary success, even amidst this crazy pandemic, guys. Cheers, everyone, to a healthy and happy 2022 together. We here at JSA will be connecting you, welcoming you with more industry news and trends, upcoming events, virtual live, across our blogs, newsletters, virtual roundtables, podcasts, and now right here at LinkedIn Live. So thank you all. And uh, here's to keeping us all more informed so we can grow the industry together. Right. So thanks for tuning in to the still new, right, Jamie? It is still yeah. new. JSA new. Fast Forward. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Super new. And as always, friends, stay safe and happy welcoming. No, I mean, sorry, happy networking. <laughs> that was a stretch. Yeah. Bad. <laughs> thanks, everyone.
All right, bye.